All right, welcome back, everybody, to Sensations. Get going here. All right, there we go. So last time uh, we did record, um, we did a lot. I managed to get a lot recorded. Um, we did uh, Camp Buddy. We did uh, a moment of uh, of the uh, Natsumi route. And we recorded some uncensored scenes from that. And uh, so we recorded uh, a couple scenes from uh, Sensations here with the sl Sloth moment. Moments with Sloth. And some uncensored scenes from that. And there was another uncensored scene that that was coming on from uh, toward the end of that, which I already recorded today. So, and if any of you want to receive any uncensored scenes that I make, record, uh, please go to my Patreon uh, account and become a Patreon contributor, either on my nine dollar tier or twenty five dollar tier. And once you become a member on there, paid member on there. Uh, you can go to the the, the, uh, the comment section and comment uh, which videos you'd like to receive as well post your uh, email address so that I can send them to you via email <coughs> send you the copies via email <coughs> and at the set at the same time when you do become a member remember that all the money that goes there goes directly to charity so you will be helping out the community of charities that that need the funds you'll be doing some good for the community obviously like i said i don't see a, i don't i don't get a see a penny of it it just goes directly to charity the funds and at the end of every video i will uh announce her name to show appreciation for becoming a Patreon contributor. And also you can, uh, to find the link to my Patreon, you can find the link uh, within the description area just below the video. <coughs> so, let's get started. This has been a great day. We have a full day tomorrow before we fly back to Russia. Do you have any ideas? Uh, would you like to do? <coughs> oh, your yawns are making me yawn. <laughs> we could go do something relaxing. Maybe go to this hotel's aquarium or, I don't know, the zoo? Yeah, he's infecting us with his sloth powers. relaxing as they swim around. I wonder what it would be like to live underwater. Seems like a very stress-free environment. Probably. People with joint damage do a lot of exercising in pools to lessen the impact of gravity. Fish probably never have any problems with their joints. If they even have joints. Funny thought. <laughs> well, let's go to the aquarium tomorrow. We'll order some donuts for dinner and get up early. The Lotus Casino has a huge aquarium that's supposed to take hours to walk through. Sound good? It sounds great. Sloth leans over to me and kisses me. I can tell he's starting to feel comfortable around me, because he's not blushing over a kiss anymore. Aww. So sweet. 
For some reason, a wave of exhaustion rolls over me. Sloth yawns. I yawn in response. We have a short lull in the conversation. We're soon sound asleep. I wake up, unsure of what time it is. It seems to be early morning from the position of the sun. I check the hell watch, 8.39 a.m. We slept almost 14 hours. I guess being in proximity to sloth can affect how sleepy you are. Yeah, like I said, his uh, sloth powers are rubbing off on us. I look over at Sloth, who's still sound asleep and snoring lightly. Even his snores are cute, and I didn't think that was possible. I stretch and yawn. I cuddle up to Sloth and gently try to wake him up. Dimitri, let's get up and go to the aquarium. Sloth continues sleeping. I cuddle next to him and stroke his hair. He murmurs something unintelligible, yawns and rolls over. I smile, watching Sloth comfortably snoozing. I start rubbing his back, trying to slowly wake him up. Dimitri, I ordered you some donuts. They're getting cold, though. At that, Dimitri bolts upright, yawning and rubbing sleep from his eyes. Yes? <sighs> I was just joking, but now you're awake, so we can get ready to go. Uh, huh? There's no donuts? <laughs> we can get donuts, don't worry. Let's just get some to go, sound good? Donuts, yes. I prop Sloth up and order the donuts. I return a few minutes after ordering to Sloth sleeping in an upright position. The sexual stuff from yesterday must have really worn them out. I shake Sloth a bit harder this time. Dimitri, it's time to get up. Mmm, I just want to sleep a little longer. We can sleep early tonight. It's time to get up and get dressed and stuff. To the aquarium. I wave his arms for him, pantomiming excitement. Woohoo, I'm Dimitri. I love the aquarium. Mmm. Helpless, I lay Sloth back down. This deadly sin definitely has drawbacks. Namely, that he's gonna sleep 70% of his life. Pretty much. The donuts arrive, and I go thank the delivery man and take them to Sloth's room. I wave the bag of donuts under his nose. I'm reminded of movies where people try to revive a comatose person with smelling salts. <clears throat> Sloth's eyes immediately snap open to the smell of fresh donuts. He lunges for the bag with an intensity I wasn't expecting, but I definitely pull the bag out of his reach. Why? I want... <laughs> I take out one of the donut balls and give it to Sloth. He devours it instantly, and then looks at the bag suspiciously. If you go get dressed and shower, you can have the rest. Fine. <sighs> With monumental exaggerated effort, Sloth rolls out of bed. He lands with a thump on the floor. He whines and pulls himself slowly across the floor to the bathroom. I can't help but laugh at his display of laziness. Sloth shuts the bathroom door, and I hear the shower immediately turn on. Like some sort of Pavlovian dog, my dick stiffens immediately as I remember yesterday. But this time, Sloth can shower alone. We'll have tonight for any further sexual encounters. After a few minutes, Sloth emerges from the bathroom. He's dressed in normal clothes, and he combed his hair. He looks uncertain about himself, and looks at me expectantly. What should I say? That baby looks good. I didn't think it was possible for you to get any more attractive. Sloth blushes shyly and walks over to give me a hug. (coughs) 
Got a big blue arrow for that. You're so sweet. Now, about the rest of those donuts. I allow him to pull out a donut ball and feed it to Sloth before handing him the rest of the bag. Sloth chomps down the donut happily. I didn't know this hotel had an aquarium. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's called Dewdrop Aquarium. They apparently have a few other exhibits too. It should be fun. At least we don't have to walk very far. I get tired easily. <laughs> I know, I know. If you get tired when we walk through it, I can just carry you. No sexual pun there, right? Yeah. Mm, maybe tonight. If, if if we're not too tired, of course. It's all up to you, of course. We exit Sloth Suite and head down the elevators. Once we're on the ground floor, we follow the signs leading us to Dewdrop Aquarium. The crowds are greatly lessened now, since the weekend has passed, and it's still early morning. The casino seems strangely deserted, with a few diehard gamblers smoking and vacantly staring at their machine or table game of choice. So, do you like gambling at all? Not really. It seems kind of foolish to put money into something when you don't have the advantage. Yeah, for real, I don't really gamble that hardly at all. Once in a great while, and it's usually pity slots. That's practical. I like it. Do you gamble? No, I don't like it much. That's because you have good sense, like me. Got a blue arrow, that's good. <laughs> I've just never been really lucky. You have to be lucky to gamble. True, true, true. Yeah, I think most people who can afford to gamble don't, and people who can't afford it do. Probably. You don't have to gamble when you're rich, and when you're poor, it's fun to think about getting lucky and winning big. Sometimes people do win it big, and people think that can happen to them too. You can win it big with me later, if you want. Hey! Someone might hear us! They might hear us later tonight. What? I'm just joking with you. If we heard anything, there's nobody around. Yeah, so don't worry about it. That's good. I'm uh, still adjusting to being seen with someone. I get it. I can stop joking around if you want. No, I think 
think it's fine. fine. I just blush easily. Really? I hadn't noticed. Right. Sure. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. We're we're here. We arrive at Dewdrop Aquarium. The entrance opens directly into the exhibits. Detailed descriptions of moss, algae, and fish are listed by each tank. A cheerful attendant greets us at the entrance. Hi there. Meeting tickets for two. Yes, please. Great. Together is separate. Before I can answer, Sloth butts in. Together, please. You can put it on Dimitri Kadin's Litcoin International account. Sloth looks shy but proud. Money matters obviously concern him a lot less than I. The attendant taps on her keyboard for a few moments, then smiles and prints us two tickets. She hands them to Sloth, who tears one and hands it to me. Don't we still have some of the money he gave us from the Lit Coins? Yeah, we still have the money. Okay. I should say one Lit Coin. Have a great time. Be sure to say hi to the dolphins for me. Thanks. Will do. Inside the aquarium, we're immediately greeted by a variety of different sea creatures. The aquarium is designed so you can walk under most of it, to see the tanks of the creatures and fish within from multiple angles. <coughs> it's an impressive setup. The pathway for walking through is designed to make visitors feel like they're part of the specific environments native to the species on display. There's jellyfish over there! Let's go take a look. We walk over to the jellyfish display, and a variety of different jellies are displayed. Jellyfish are odd looking things, aren't they? Jellyfish. I imagine if I were a sea creature, I'd be a jellyfish. <laughs> Is that so? Why, Why do you think, think that? Because they just sort of float around. They seem very relaxed. And when someone tries to touch them, they stink. Ha! <laughs> you stink and people get too close? No. Sometimes I want to. Fair. What sea creature would that be? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe a dolphin? A dolphin? I like dolphins. Why do you say that, though? Because dolphins like to have a lot of sex. Yeah. <laughs> you perv. Why do you think it's such naughty thoughts? Um. Because you've been putting some of your lust power into him. I, I'm not. It's just, just true. I laugh and grab Sloth's ass discreetly, causing him to yell softly when the round bears. Nobody's with us in the aquarium currently, so he relaxes. I'll show you how dolphin like I can be tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I've honestly, honestly never, never thought, thought about sex as much in my entire life, life as these past, past two days. I'm more than happy to help you think of it more, so don't worry. Sloth leans over and kisses me, and then looks around to see if anyone saw. He's so nervous about his newfound affection. It's so cute. Come on, let's go take a look at Coral Reefs. Okay. We walk over to the coral reef displays. There's a ton of diversely colored coral, swordfish, and tiny neon fish darting in and out of the rocky organisms. It's beautiful. It is. 
coral looks pretty sharp and hard. I wonder if fish cut themselves on it. Scales probably protect it from it. Hmm, true. Scales are tougher than skin. We stand there silently watching the fish swim in and out of the massive coral display. After a few minutes, Sloth glances around and silently holds my hand. It's a sweet gesture, affirming that he's rapidly getting over his self-conscious behaviors. I smile and give his hand a squeeze. It's really relaxing. I could just sit and watch him. Oh, me too. Fish are supposed to be good for your blood pressure. Or, or so I've heard. heard it. Huh, I've, I've never, never heard, heard that. that. But, but that's, that's interesting. interesting. I don't, don't actually remember where I heard it, it so don't, don't quote me. me. <laughs> I can't <laughs> imagine, imagine that coming up often in conversations. That's <laughs> true. Uh, Wanna want to go, go look at the sharks? sharks? Sure. We won't go over to the enormous shark exhibit, still holding hands. Sloth seems so happy, and if I'm honest with myself, I'm really happy as well. Regardless of Lucifer's test and time limits and other deadly sins, I'm able to forget all of that when I'm a sloth. Dozens of small sharks and a couple of large ones swim lazily around. An aquarium worker is inside their exhibit cleaning it before the aquarium gets too many visitors. Sharks are so cool. Let's see. This information card says they stopped evolving millions of years ago because they're already the perfect predator. Really? That's interesting. I wonder if anything preys on sharks. Here comes a hammerhead! You can hammer my head. <laughs> that that wasn't, wasn't even good. good. I, I give, give it one star, star out of five. <laughs> you miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> I wonder why, why the sharks, sharks don't attack, attack the aquarium worker, worker even, even when, when they're, they're hungry. hungry. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're smart, smart enough to know the, the worker is the one that feeds them? them? Maybe. Sharks don't, don't look particularly, particularly intelligent. intelligent. Or maybe, or maybe they're, they're just more docile than wild sharks. Who knows? Sharks. We, we watched watch the sharks swimming around the aquarium worker cleaning their exhibit, who waves to us. Sloth and I wave back. back. It's, it's an interesting, interesting exhibit, exhibit, surrounded by illuminated displays that inform visitors about shark facts. Hmm, what should we go see next? Let's go check out the Stingray Petting Station. We head over to the Manta Ray Petting Station, which is a giant rock pool surrounded by seas. A few people are sitting there, watching the manta rays swim around, and a few people pet them as they swim by. Okay, that guy's a purple diamond. That's neutral. That's good. A dewdrop employee stands by, making sure no guests do anything out of the ordinary. Don't stingrays have a poisonous sting? I think so, but I think captive ones have their stingers removed. I'm really sure. Let's ask. Hi, have any questions? Yeah, we had a couple. Do the stingrays actually have stingers still, or do they get removed when they're in captivity? They do have their stingers removed, but you should still not touch their tails. They don't like it. And they, and they may become, become angry and start splashing around. How do they like to be pet? They only like to be pet gently, and with one or two fingers. Anything more can startle them and make them believe a predator is attacking them. There's many things that get started by more than two fingers. Sloth blushes. He thinks we're talking about sex. Probably. How? Sloth elbows me in my stomach, embarrassed over my joke. I could have a laugh despite it. 
The attendant smirks, but tries to hide his amusement by clearing his throat and giving me a disapproving glare. Uh... <clears throat> Feel free to pet them at your leisure. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll be here. Just like, oh no, the games are out here again. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Thanks, Thanks for the help. help. Once the attendant is out of your shot of visibility, Sloth slaps my ass before looking around to see if anyone noticed. Ghost Gate, you're so perverted. You, you shouldn't make sex jokes to people we just met. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Dimitri. Dimitri. I couldn't I help, help it. it. The, the opportunity is right there. there. It's fine, fine but... Maybe get it turned on. on. Remembering yesterday, yesterday, so you'll... You'll have to... Help me take, take care, care of that later. later. Sure thing. I give Swan a hug and shovel how flustered he is. I'll, I'll definitely, definitely help you out with that. that. Okay, okay, let's pet some stingrays. We walk up to the shallow pool, pool and sit on the edge of it. There's, there's a few dozen stingrays inside. inside. Many of them are gliding slowly along, not close enough to the edge to pet. After a few minutes, a few stingrays swim close enough to the edge to be touched. Swamp focuses as the stingray glides close and reaches out to pet. The stingray floats out of reach, oblivious to having been touched. It feels smooth. I thought they'd be slimy feeling or something. Well, that's a relief then. Slimy would be unpleasant. I reach out my hand to passing stingray and pet it. It flaps suddenly, causing small splashes. It suddenly increases its speed and vigorously swims away. <laughs> I guess it didn't like you. It's missing out. out. All I wanted to give it was pet. It rejected my pets. Don't be upset. You just have to touch them very softly. Watch! Another group of stingrays swims close, and Swamp gently strokes their backs as they pass. None of them become startled or swim away. See? Hmm. You're just lucky to pet the non temperamental ones. Aww, don't, don't be jealous, jealous of my affinity for sea creatures. Huh, <laughs> I'm not jealous. Let's keep thinking like animals when you by them. Do you have any pets at your home? No, no, no pets currently. I imagine I'd get along with a cat, since cats get tired easily like I do. Hmm, true. They're pretty self-sufficient. Sloth stands up and shakes water off his hands. There's hand sanitizing stations all around the stingray pool. So we wash our hands before heading back towards the main exhibit. Y'all have a great day now. Thanks a bunch. Come on, Dimitri. We have more to see. I'm following you. We walk back to the main aquarium exhibits. A large school of fish in a large community exhibit swims by, light shining off their scales. Large sea turtles and a giant manta ray float by. Around this time, more aquarium visitors are trickling in. Sloth seems uneasy, as more and more guests crowd in the main exhibit. I decide it's about time to get going. Hey, Dimitri, are you getting tired yet? Hmm, I am a bit tired. I woke up earlier than normal for me. Here, get on my back. I'll carry you back to your room. I'm not in the mood to battle crowds. Sloth looks simultaneously relieved and shy. I crouch down in ocean for him to hop on. Without a word, he does, and I hook my arms under his legs to support him. Sloth loops his arms over my shoulders, and I set off towards the aquarium exit. So, what was your favorite part of the aquarium? I think my favorite part was seeing it with you. Aww. I flush at Sloth's sincere tone. It takes a lot to make me blush, but Sloth succeeds, and he doesn't even mean to. Aw, oh, that's sweet. sweet. I, I love spending time, time with you here as well. I'm, I'm glad, glad we got to see most things with a few other customers there. It felt special. It didn't feel special. It was special. Sloth kisses my neck as I carry him. It's such a small thing, but it sends my dick into a frenzy. 
I'm not carrying it in the wrong car direction. Probably looks weird to anyone passing. I can't even pass the remaining aquarium exhibits, full of eels, exotic fish, and even a miniature octopus exhibit. Eventually we arrive at the exit, which is also a gift shop for the aquarium. Sloth slides down on my back when he sees a display of sea creature stuffed animals. I'm going to buy some memento. Hang on a second. Sloth walks up to the display and chooses a small plush dolphin. After paying for it, Sloth rejoins me. He climbs back on my back and rests the stuffed dolphin on my head. I bought, I bought you a mini Squeedy Dolphin, the dolphin so, so you'll have something, something special to remember the beginning of our dates. It's adorable. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, now onward, noble, noble Steed. We have... things to do. <laughs> Off we go. We, we arrive back, back at Sloth's suite. suite. Despite, Despite my assurances is about not getting tired, I'm, I'm exhausted from carrying Sloth. I need to get, get into shape, or something. something. Sloth slides, slides on my back, back. yawns loudly and opens the door. I follow in after and shut the door behind me. Thanks for the... um... amazing date. No problem. I guess we should pack our things, and you should too. My plane's for Russia tomorrow, very early. I don't have any things to pack, so I'll be all set whenever. My attendants will package all my things soon, then. Let's go lay in bed, then I'll let them know they can come pack everything up. Lay in bed? It's only 3 p.m. now. Yeah, but nobody's going to come into my room, and we need to get up early. It's always good to go to bed early if you can get up for something. <laughs> I guess so. All right, let's, let's get really down. down. Cuddling is always a good use of time. Sure, I love coloring. Yeah. We, we head to the bedroom, bedroom and Sloth texts his attendants to come back up his computers and excess clothes. I lay down with Sloth, and within a couple of minutes, we hear his attendants enter the room and begin efficiently packing everything. It's nice to not have to pack things up myself. Lifting boxes and moving around in general is tiring. After several minutes, we hear the boxes being carried away, the front door shut, and in silence, Sloth cuddles closer to me and wraps me into a hug. I sigh softly, relaxing. So, what should we do now? Don't know. Sloth casually reaches down to my pants and feels for my dick. I'm not hard, but the unexpected groping catches me off guard. Hmm. So I guess we're on to another uncensored scene, so I'm gonna stop it there. First, you gotta save it.